How to listen, folks, here's a quick question to you. How do you know you're paying too much for a product? Like, really? Like, really, really? How do you know? The problem is, under capitalism, there is no definite right price for a product. It's determined by market demand. But market demand is not purely influenced by uh, supply and demand, you know, and the available market forces in a hypothetical first grade econ class market economy. In reality, the prices of a commodity are largely determined by tactics that uh, producers will take to maximize the profit they make. An easy example of this is diamonds, for example. You know how, you know, you have any idea how common diamonds are? If you dig down, Minecraft is real. If you just dig down for like half an hour, you will find diamonds. That's real. So at all points in time, all around the world, there are little Steves, usually child slaves, uh, digging around, gathering up all the diamonds, and you know what they do? The De Beers, they throw them in a hole. They throw them in a hole. A big hole. And they put a little tarp over it. Big tarp, actually. That's how diamonds work. You know why you pay a thousand di uh, fucking dollars for a little diamond? Because they want you to. Because they want to sell you it for more. But those actual diamonds really aren't that scarce. I mean... Have you played Minecraft? They're all over the place. Yeah, no resale value from wedding, wedding rings. That's goddamn true. Hey, folks, here's a, here's a fun little trick you want to do if you have some time and money. Okay, are you ready for it? Um, try to resell gold jewelry. It's pretty easy, right? Try to resell diamond jewelry. Ooh, <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait. <clears throat> oh, no, we don't take that here. Sorry. Uh... Oh, what'd you pay for that ring? A thousand dollars? Sorry, uh, we can't pay you that. Um, maybe uh, five dollars? 